This is the body of a priest called Padre Pia. He died on September the 23rd, 1968. A humble and very private man, he dominated the lives of tens of thousands of sane and ordinary people who simply believed he was a saint. He bore on his body the bleeding and agonizing marks of the five great wounds of Christ. More famous than any other priest, he lived most of his life in an obscure Franciscan convent in southern Italy, and from it he challenged the unbelief of the whole world. Padre Pio was born to this country in the town of Pietrocina. His life promised nothing but harsh work and the anonymity of peasant death. Instead, he lies in the light of candles lapped in marble. His parents were cheerful and generous and poor and illiterate and, of course, pious. They farmed a small holding and lived in this house. His father had to leave it twice to go to America and work to get money for a little extra education for his children. The boy grew up here precociously devout. He wanted to become a priest and he chose the Franciscan order which embraces humility and poverty and does not reject the streets. He started the process of becoming a priest when he was 15 years old. For eight years he studied and prayed and meditated. He was often ill. He fasted for days on end, eating nothing but the wafer at mass. He suffered frequent fevers and tuberculosis. At 23, he was ordained priest, though, because of his health and in the expectation of his early death, he was sent home for several years. The stories about him grew and they made his superiors uneasy. He was tormented by the devil, they said. He took an hour and a half to say a half-hour mass. He had ecstasies, and a suspicious and impatient church packed him off to the remote convent of San Giovanni Rotondo, where he stayed until he died. It was a quiet, rather primitive, and utterly undistinguished place. This was a backwater of the church. 